Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Market Stream and Tech Talk. My name is Joseph Kizik with the Kizik Group Securities Offer of Money Block. I quickly wanted to go over some names that are going to have earnings this afternoon and tomorrow morning, give you an idea of what's been going on with the underlyings and what's the expected move going into these events earnings. And the one that I want to start off with that's going to be announcing tonight is going to be Intuit. Intuit right now is up 1.5%. Now, to put this in context, the stock has been moving to the upside, uh, basically a gap here before earnings. It actually pierced through its 20 and 50 day moving average after a pretty significant battle. And with its earnings uh, due out tonight, and as a matter of fact, coming in, the estimates right now are coming in at roughly, let's see, what do they want to come in at? Uh, we got earnings coming in at uh, 365 is the estimate. So there's some pretty... Uh, decent expectations. Stock has been grinding after this gap. Uh, now moving up in front of earnings, they're pricing in for the next 24 days that this stock could be in a $5.22 range. So in this $129 stock, you're talking about basically about 4% move being priced in for the next 24 trading days going into this event. And you can see it's already up 1.56% today alone. So let's see how this performs after hours. Now, we want to take a look at a home um, improvement name that everyone knows, Lowe's. And the reason why I want to focus on Lowe's is not only because of earnings, but also we're going to have pre-existing home sales due out tomorrow morning. This is going to move this stock. Now, this stock is going to be announcing pre-market. And right now, Lowe's has an implied volatility rank of 68. By the way, Intuit has a 66 IVR. What is implied volatility rank? Volatility is what options traders use for expectation of potential movement in the underlying over a specified period of time. In this particular example, I'm looking at an IVR of 68 and 66 respectively. These two stocks, Intuit and Lowe's, there's an expectation of potentially large violent moves and specifically Lowe's going into the expiration of this week, in other words, this Friday, the next three days, and to, to this event tomorrow morning, they're pricing in $3.65 of potential movement in lows. Now, to put this into context, the stock is down 1.9% or 161. So it's already moved half of its estimated move going into the event. What's notable here is new home sales came in lower than expected, came in at around 560,000 new homes sold. The expectation was 605. There is a little bit of an error of disappointment in home sales right now. Let's see if existing, which is basically about 90% of the sales, roughly around there, of housing sales. Um, let's see if that number actually catalyzes the market a little bit more. Um, if it disappoints, that could put housing and that sector in general um, in a little bit of a bind, to say the least. Uh, Lowe's down 164 in advance of their earnings tomorrow morning and the pre-existing home sales. And Lowe's is one of those stocks that will move on both those events. Over the next 24 days, the options are pricing in Lowe's. L-O-W is the ticker symbol. $4.55 range, either up or down. So we still have some pretty significant movement going into earnings. Also, we have Tiffany's. Uh, this high-end retailer, when you get in trouble, you go to Tiffany's. Um, TIF is the ticker symbol trading down 63 cents. That's good for about seven tenths of a percent to the downside at $93. Now you can see it's been in this battle zone for quite a long time in front of earnings. Uh, it has bounced through and gone through its 20 and 50 day moving average. For those of you that watch me, I use these moving averages just to see who is in control. And right now the bulls have taken control on the short term and long term base as well as the intermediate term. But the battle is beginning. That 20-day moving average, in other words, 92.40, is going to be a level that has to hold if, in fact, the bulls are going to have uh, that conviction to the upside. And going into earnings, Tiffany's has an implied volatility of rank of 36. Now, it's not low, but it's not high. It's right below that mid-mark, but there's not a heightened expectation of huge violent moves. As a matter of fact, the stock is pricing in over the next three days, $4 of expected move either up or down going into the event tomorrow and the expiration of the options I was looking at, which is over the next three days, and $5.26 of estimated range, either up or down for the next 24 days. And then finally, I wanted to take a look at a banking stock, BMO Harris. Uh, this is Bank of Montreal. Uh, BMO is the ticker symbol. It's uh, finished the day up 94 cents at 136. 
Uh, this one has been under pressure for the last month and a half uh, or month. Uh, coming off of the $74 level, broke through its 50 and 20 day moving average, and it's just been the bears have been in control until today. The short term and longer term bulls have taken control of BMO in front of earnings. Right now, BMO has a 65, almost 66 IV rank. That's, there's a heightened expectation of potential move. Over the next 24 days, they're pricing in the potential for it to be either up or down a bucks 47 uh, on this $70 stock. So you're talking about maybe a one and a half to two percent move over the next 24 days. Not a huge move, but it already moved 1.36 percent um, or 94 cents. So a lot of the move that's being priced in going in in advance of earnings showed up today. After hours right now trading at 70.29. So we'll keep an eye on that. As a matter of fact, Intuit is not traded after hours yet. Um, actually, it is. It's up 63 cents at 129.79. You can see it here. Um, so we'll have to see. Uh, the earnings, and let's see what the earnings actually did. Uh, the earnings came out, and uh, they're going to be discussing it on a call in a few minutes, so we'll have to take a look. All right, folks, that is it right now. I'm going to be back online at 3.30 Central, 4.30 Eastern, I'm, or 4 o'clock, yeah, 3.30 Central, 4.30 Eastern. I'm going to be back on talking about all the action that has occurred today on the closing bell here at MarketStream.Live. See you then.